I'm not sure if you guys can hear me. Like, I wasn't gonna film right now. I was gonna film later, but I decided to get my car washed. Um, and they always take so long here, but at least there's like a coffee shop nearby, the pain, so I can like get my, I can like sit down and get a coffee at least. Anyway, um, what was I gonna say? So today, I like need to, so I went until I get something, so I'm like really excited. Um, I'm going to Hawaii. I'm not gonna say when, because I just don't feel like saying when. Um, but I kind of want to get like a pair of shoes. Actually, I don't really want to go shopping because I want to save all my shopping for Hawaii because like the prices are so much better. I don't know if you guys know, but like shopping designer there because I heard that they have to keep up with the Japanese yen because there's so many Japanese shoppers there. They um, like prices for Gucci and Louis like and then certain Chanel items are are a lot less. Like up to I think it's like twenty percent less plus the tax in Hawaii is less too. So. Um, like I don't want to shop right now, but I do kind of want like a pair of sandals. You guys know those? Do you remember those? Um, like those kind of platform sandals that I got from Ur uh, Urban Outfitters that broke like the first moment I wore them. Like I'm not even joking. <laughs> you know what I did with that shit? Okay, those those sandals were only like thirty dollars. But what happened is I wore them downtown. Like the first day I wore them to like my office, and they broke like on the way to my office. So there's like an Urban Outfitters nearby. So I walked in. I was like. Can I exchange them for another pair? Like whatever. I'm not. I just need another pair to walk. I don't have shoes for like the day. And they're like, well, we don't have the black ones, and we don't have the white ones in your size. And I'm like, well, what should I do? Like I need shoes. And I like there was still one strap on each shoe, like towards the toe, that kind of worked, I guess. So I was like, honestly, you just need to like refund me, and then like I need to keep the shoes so I can at least have something on my feet during the day. So sorry, I had a phone call. Um, Anyway, I thought it was funny, but so I want I want kind of like platformy shoes. Like I would draw, die for a pair of like Chanel platformy shoes, but I know they don't make those. Like because no one can get anything right. Like everything, everyone like whatever. No one can get anything anything right anymore. Um, I don't know what I want. I just want like a pair of summer shoes that I love that are kind of bulky. I don't like like small shoes. I like like bulky shoes because I feel like it makes my legs look smaller. Like if like, you have like a bulky shoe, a platform shoe, not a bulky shoe, a platform shoe. Okay, do you guys think that's obnoxious? Okay, I'm just gonna like flip you around. Hold on, how do I flip? Okay, I'm not gonna, let me just show you. Oh, oh, okay, like that. Okay, that Tesla, that is like a, like I'm sorry, I love, like I don't, I'm not like a hater on Teslas, but look at this, like. Really, like, what the fuck do you think you are? That's kind of so embarrassing. <laughs> Like literally, you have like, like you're like think you're the shit. Like you have like bat wings on your car. Like it's a little bit much. So that is like so like oh my god, look at me. I'm sorry, I'm just like not into that. Oh my god, that guy looks like such a moron. He thinks he's so cool. Sorry, just like as fuck. Oh my god, like I'm sorry. I know some people probably like have like those Teslas out there with like the bat wings, but like it's really, it's so like oh my god, look at me. Like I have, like just I don't know. Like, did you really need to get the bat wings? Like it's really stupid. I should only be on like a Ferrari or what do they come on? Like what are those like super cars that like, like that Tesla is not that much. Like why are you trying to, you know what I mean? Like they should come on like super sport cars. What is the car that has like the bat wings? Like, as I call them, I call them bat wings. I don't fucking know what they're called. Okay, I know you guys are gonna fucking kill me, but I don't care. Like why the fuck do I like these? Um, you guys, I look so disgusting right now in this viewfinder. Oh my god, I can't even tell you what it looked like. I just look like the most giant, like, it's not even Roseanne Barr anymore. I used to be like, I look like Roseanne Barr, but she's actually like, not that fat anymore, so I like, have to, like, make, like, a new person, but, like, I don't even know who to say. I look so humongous in this viewfinder. Honestly, I'm so fucking done with myself right now. So, I was, like, filming this morning a little bit, like, Actually, for my iPhone, I was like sitting around, like waiting for my car to be finished, like washed. I'm not, I'm not even sure if I'm putting that up. So if this is like, I don't even know, you guys. I'm not sure. I had like, 
I was like filming before, but now I'm like not sure if I'm putting that up. Who cares? Okay, um, so, oh yeah, that's why I care. Because I was telling you guys originally like what I want to do today, but I, I don't know if I should repeat myself because I'm not sure if I'm gonna put that, oh my god. Um, all right, right now I'm going to get coffee though. And, okay, I'm not gonna tell you where I'm going because I just don't want to. Like, I'm sorry, I just don't want to. And it's not because of you guys, it's because of them. I actually hate this coffee place so much. Like, I legitimately cannot stand them. Um, and you guys might know who I'm talking about because if from like a vlog a long time ago, I don't know, but I just don't want like anyone to go there because like I don't like them. And they are so mean to me. Like they will not let me in. Like there's like straight up like, it's not Pete's Coffee. That's another one I will never go to. But like this is like a more like a, like a mom and pop place, um, which is even more like er annoying to me because you can like, you don't have to act like that. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to fucking act like that. They will like, you know what they do? They did to me, and this is one of the reasons. This is what I hate so much. They, this is what really set me off, and I got into a fight a long time ago with them. They, I went, to, I went up to the counter. I went up to the counter, and I was like, okay, I want this drink or whatever. And they took my credit card, and they charged me, and then afterwards, they say, oh, is that a service dog? Afterwards. At the point that you charge me for something, you you don't you just have to get it, get it, give it up. Like you tell you tell the customers that before they pay for something. Like you're gonna kick me out after I fucking ordered a coffee. Yeah, of course I'm getting it to go. But don't fucking ask. Don't even don't don't even bother asking me after you've charged me. Like take care of business. Decide not to take not to take my business before you're gonna tell me I can't have my dog in here. Anyway, that was like one of the many things. It's like, it's like they are so all over you. Like right when you get in the in like. This is now, like, right when you walk in there, like, they'll, like, run up to you and, like, a big deal. Like, oh, my God, is that a service dog? Like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Like, get out of my face. Ugh, it bothers me so much. So, I can only go. I don't go here a lot, but now I'm, like, back on this kick with this place. Like, I cannot stop going. Like, I just am, so, it is so goddamn good. Like, it's so good. Like, I, I'm sorry. Like, they have the best coffee. I'm not telling you where it is. I'm not. Because I don't want anyone to go there because I hate them. <laughs> I swear to God, like, I'm so torn. Um... But that's what I'm doing. Um, I actually, so Ming is a little bit under the weather. I'm not sure if like she's uh, has a like a cold or a flu or if she maybe like sprained something. She's just under the weather, so she didn't want to come with me today. She needs to stay home, like just you know get some rest and sleep. And um, you know, I used to do that thing where I would like run to like the run to the vet right away. Like if there's anything wrong with any of my animals, I run right away. And it's always something that's like nothing every time. Like I've, you guys don't understand. You probably do. Cause you see how many times I've gone to like the freaking ER for the, for the animals, like in the middle of the night. And they just like, are like, okay, like, what do you want me to do? Like, she's fine. Like, I don't know. I mean, there has been one time in the very beginning with me, um, that she got, she got really sick and they had to keep her overnight. It was my bad. I was feeding her too much human food. This is right when I got her. Like, I'm sorry. It's all she'd eat. Like I know bad. Okay. Bad, bad, bad. Like, I know okay got it um so we don't like do that anymore like we make her like eat regular food like dog food too but like you know what I mean we don't like it I get it so um she's a little bit sick I'm not gonna take her to the vet though until like something's really wrong with her because it's always like they always laugh at me like I can't tell you how many times I've been like laughed out of the vet like the guy like knows me like one of the vets he's like oh you you're back again. I'm like, yeah, I know, but like, I can't, she's like basically like my daughter. Like, what, I can't like have her like die on me. She's like four pounds. So, um, anyway, shut up. I'm going to my coffee and um, I'm gonna like be in the best mood when this coffee comes, you guys. Like, have we ever seen me in a good mood with coffee? Like, never. It's, my hair looks so ugly too. Like, what is this stupid flip? It's like this like huge like mullet and then like, it's like a bubble and then a mullet. Like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore my hair this haircut like I have no style I'm just like I have no fucking style okay like no I don't know what to do it just looks really bad like it's a little like 60s flip and like a big like bouffant hair like what the fuck are you doing so bad Ugh. so annoying um and I'm still on my diet so honestly I'm just not gonna eat anything today because this, this this drink is probably I'm guessing it's like 300 calories honestly like I'm guessing because it's it's almond milk um, so I'm guessing it's 300 you know what I mean like I'm just gonna like round up 300 calories and figure it's that um, yeah but so what are we doing today what are we wearing 
you guys love this this is my new dream tennis necklace and it's like gonna be like my new fucking thing i love it so much you guys know i'm like so obsessed with my tennis bracelets and they're like solid sterling silver with um crystal czs what's so amazing about them obviously is like you can wear them all the time because they're solid sterling silver and they legitimately look like they look like a million dollars you know um if you, you guys follow kiara right like the blogger she has this necklace and i'm sure it's real but like it's gotta be like hundred thousand dollars i mean i don't know if at least like 75 grand like i how many carrots is this this is like exactly like hers i think like the way but it's not like diamonds you know what i mean like it looks so bomb the way she stacked it all her jewelry i just fucking love it i'm like <gasps> ah! i swear to god bitch slap um it just looks so good stacked like i love it with the um studio 54s it's just it is everything and then i'm wearing my um cali love um, gangster font letter, which I love. Look at, look, I look like I'm wearing a drape. Like, what am I doing? Am I like, am I getting my hair done? I look like I'm getting my fucking hair done. You know what I mean? We wear like a smock. I don't want myself today. I don't want myself. I have nothing else to wear. Like, I'm, I'm seriously, this is my problem. Is like, yeah, I've slimmed down. I've toned, like, I've slimmed down a little bit. Um, but I'm not skinny enough to like wear what I want to wear right now. Like for like what I feel comfortable with. So I'm still like in this like weird, like smock mode like thing where I'm still like trying to like cover myself um I don't know whatever just leave me alone but yeah my jewelry I'm like obsessed with it so I love my stock today I'm obsessed look at my hair look at this it's like it's just the dumbest thing ever I legitimately look so bad right now it looks so good at the studio 54 so like don't you love it and I know everyone's gonna ask about the shirt the shirt's from Brandy Mel Melville like everyone's gonna ask so I was like there you go I'm not wearing a bra with it I'm like very cute today like I'm just like not wearing a bra like whatever like I have like small boobs now so well, like, actually not that small like they're like bigger they got bigger like I feel like after the surgery like things like kind of um settle and they get like a little bit bigger and um, they're not like a, I want them to be like really small honestly so I could just like wear nothing all the time but I'm kind of like at the point it's like they're like the size I think they're like a like a b so it's like you can't really not wear a bra with a B, but sometimes you can. Like typically, like only an A can like not can get away with not wearing a bra. But like sometimes I'm just like I don't give a shit. Like they don't like they're not like hanging. You know what I mean? They like up. So whatever. Um, I just really want my coffee right now. Anyway, so where am I going today? I am gonna go. So I was gonna go get some shoes. I wanted to get some shoes. What I really want to get is glasses. I really want to get like shield glasses. Okay, I had to pull over really quick. Um, but I actually, before I keep driving, I wanted to just do a mini rant before I kind of like forget. It's something I've been wanting to tell you guys for for a while. Something happened to me, and I don't really care about like your opinion. Honestly, let's be real. <laughs> I'm kidding. I mean, I'm not like doing this for your opinion. I'm doing this because I was like shocked. And I thought the reason I'm like, I don't care about your opinion is because I don't care about the people who try and lecture me as to like why. Because I don't care about that. That's what I mean by that. I don't give a shit like about like why. Because this is how I feel like seriously. I cannot even believe this fucking is even happening in the world right now. Okay, let me tell you. I'm actually going to say the, the restaurant too. Just because it is, I'm just like so shocked by it. Anyone who lives in LA would know what I'm talking about. It's John and Vinny's, right? Like everyone's going to this like place called John and Vinny's and like, for Nick's birthday, I didn't. I didn't want to go because it's like you can't even get in. Like it's so like ridiculous. You can't even get in. Like you have to like make re reservations like a million years in advance. And I don't like sceny places. Like I'm just not like about sceny places. And um, but he, I was like, he really wanted to try it. So I went for his birthday and got like a night. I had I made like reservation like almost over a week in advance, and like I could only get like a 9:30 appointment during the week. Okay, so um, we went there and the bill came. And this, the guy, like, the waiter was nice enough. He was, like, he was, like, a nice guy. Like, no problem with the waiter. But he tried to pull a fast one on me. I thought it was, like, really shady. And it's not really pulling a fast one. Like, he's trying to, like, recoup what the restaurant is doing to him. I guess. Okay? So, the restaurant already charges the tip 20%, right? So, I've, I go to another restaurant. We do the same thing. But basically, the, it's the tax is in, or the tip is included. And, like, I don't love that, but whatever. It's fine. I'm going to give them the 20. It's going to, I'm going to pay 20% anyway. Um, so, he comes up to me uh, at, at the, you know, when he gives the bill fold. And he's like, uh, just so you guys know, the 20% is not actually a tip. It's to like make better wages. Give, it's to give the employees better wages or something like something like that. And so he's like, anything extra you want to leave is considered the tip. So basically, they want me to leave forty percent, like 
I was absolutely fucking shocked. Like, okay, and I was I was shocked and pissed. I was shocked and pissed at that point. Of course, like I'm 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 not gonna leave more than twenty percent tip. Like I'm sorry. Like you didn't do anything other than actually you brought my drinks after my food too. Like it was actually a disaster. Like so you didn't even do anything like correct. So yeah, you're getting twenty percent, but you're not getting more than that if you did like a, just a regular job. Like I'm sorry. Okay. Um, then I was talking to one of my friends actually. It wasn't a friend. He's like kind of like I work with him or whatever I work with him and he was telling me how he went to John and Vinny's and he had the, the same thing happen with the 20% I was like that's fine I get that whatever if you're gonna add the 20% bill or tip on whatever if you're gonna do that do that um I said did they give you like the spiel about how anything after the 20% is considered the tip and he said no so I don't know what this little shit was trying to do like fucking what's the word and Emb not embezzle but like ex What's the word? No, it's bothering me. Not extract. Embezzle. No, it's another word. Money from me. Like additional money. Like if you know, first of all, I wouldn't work there then. Like if my if if the if that pay your own employees damn wages, John and Vinny's, don't fucking put it on me and not tip your people. That twenty percent should go to them, okay? That's the fucking rule. Not the extra not the extra fucking twenty percent on top of the twenty percent. Never going back there again. Food wasn't even that good. Don't understand why people like it. So overrated, so fattening. I'm so pissed that I was trying to be scammed into an additional 20% off, like 20%. Like that is so outrageous to me. I cannot believe that John and Vinny's would like, uh, would humiliate and humiliate their employees and put the customers in like the most awkward position to try and leave 40 fucking percent additional because you are not paying your, your employees correctly. Eat shit, no. So fucking mad, like honestly, I could go on and on about this. I like am so infuriated. I want to like cuss and like scream. I'm I, how mad that I am, but I'm not because I know I can get like really crazy. But like that is just not fucking okay. Like that is not fucking okay. Okay, and I don't I don't know what actually don't even really know what's going on. Like maybe like maybe maybe John and Vinny's like doesn't know that the employees are doing that, or maybe they are. I have no idea like what the situation is. All I know is that something is not like right there, and I was put in a very uncomfortable situation, and. What is a word? What is a word that starts with an E? What's a fucking word? <sighs> What's a fucking word? Extort! They tried to extort an additional 20% from me. Like, I don't understand. Like, I'm sorry, John and Vinny's. Like, pay your fucking employees. Like, don't fucking come after me for a 40%. Like, I've already given you 20%. <sighs> Stupid. So annoyed. Never going there again. Oh my god, by the way, I like, okay, so Nick has this, like, thing that like, really irritates me so much, like, he always asks the waiters what, like, the most popular dish, what, what they recommend, and I'm like, don't do that, because you're never going to get what they recommend, like, he's a very picky eater, like, unlike me, all, like, anything, he's a very picky eater, you're never gonna go with what they say, and he never does, so it's like, ugh, every time, like, it's, it's like, this thing, and, um, yeah, of course he asked them again, but I guess this time like he was gonna listen to them because I was like, just listen to them this time. Like if you're gonna ask them, like just like let's go with what they say because we don't really know what to get here anyway. Let's get the most popular dishes. So the guy was like, or the um, the waiter was like, you have to get the meatballs and the, it comes with like garlic bread. And I was like, okay, well that sounds fine. Like and then like they're baked ziti or some, some shit like that, which is not even good. Like I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Like I don't get it. It's like trash. I don't get it. It's not even like I love junk food. I love I love a good junk food. It's like it was not even good. Um, and, um, so we got the meatballs. You guys, I am not kidding. The meatballs stunk. Like, 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 you know how meat can stink? It was like a stink, like stank. You know what I mean? It was like, like, I was like, Nick, do you not like taste that? You don't smell that? He doesn't like, I guess he didn't. He liked it. I was like, I could not believe he ate it. I was like, oh my God. Like these are like either half rotten or it's just like kind of like gross meat. Like like low quality meat I don't know what it was but it was like like stinky like pew you know what I mean like pew like ugh, like that like I was like I cannot eat this like the garlic bread was like bomb of course like how can you fuck up garlic bread you just like can't like whatever right um but stink like ugh, no so I will not be going back there until they get their shit like together bitch take care of your own employees like don't fucking make me pay a tip and their like salary like fucking bullshit um, you guys are so fucking cheap. If that's the case, you are so cheap. Like, cheap bitch, dude. Like, pay your fucking employees. Not my fucking problem. Um, alright, so, I'm gonna actually go now. I'm trying to piss 
decide. I'm trying to decide what I want to do. Size is okay. Size is perfect. I just, I think I like the little lift on the back, like this one. Oh, that one? You don't have it in black, do you? Black comes in black color. Just the red, I see it. The red and the blue. Right here? Let me see. I like the little lift. Hours so I can decide. What's your name? Alex. Alex, this is my card. Okay, thank no, you. I'll see. Thank you very much. Honestly, whoever the buyers are in these stores, like, I'm sorry, I'm, I always, I, I don't, I'm not sure if I've said it before, but like, they need to be fired. Like, especially the ones at Barney's. They legitimately need to be like executed. <laughs> They're that stupid. I swear to God, there's not one thing I would buy. It's like, like I can't even go to these stores anymore. Like, you couldn't like I you, take my money. Please take my money because I really do want to shop. Like, I just don't get it. And I like, watch half of you guys are there about our buyers, right? <laughs> Kidding. But it, I just don't fucking get it. Like, the ugliest shit you guys can not you guys, but like they can find the list that's gonna put on the shelf. Like right now, this the big, like shades, like the big, they look like black shield shades. Sunglasses are very in. Not one, not one. It was any not one even right now. Because you know, you just like bring in like old shit that no one wants to buy. I'm so mad right now. So mad. I can't even walk. I'm so fat. I'm like out of breath. This bag is so heavy too. I don't want to be bothered today either. Like, I was just like trying on those shoes. And there was like this person who wasn't even helping me, like trying to like give me the eye. Just stop, like don't even make me bring out the excuse. Just don't, but I'll just like, I will do it. Like I will tell you I'm talking to my grandmother from abroad and any OGs will know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Can you find them? I'm, I'm trying to get into this one. Uh, they're like a half size too big. They're like a half size too big, or is it a size? I don't want to pass them up. What do you think I need? Do you want me to get you a Thank you. This is so pretty. It's gorgeous. I don't know. I, let me see if we still have that. Oh, you don't have it? Check. Oh my god, I love this. What is this? It's like an AB powder. I'm gonna go out here with a little fucking disco ball. Okay, I'm gonna think. You don't have this? You guys are always sold out of stuff. What's this? Oh. Oh my god, hi. Oh, yay, I'll take that. What is this? Those are cream shadows. Oh my gosh, like, it's so pretty. This color is like... And I like... think you can put it everywhere. I don't think you... But it is... Shadow. It's so pretty. Can I use this brush with it? I don't Please. Know. That's the best way. First, try it on your hand and see how good. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. And all this is limited edition, as usual, except for the blushes. They're staying. Oh my gosh, it's like it's like Barbie pink. It's so it pretty. Is you know what I mean? Here to rose, yeah. So pretty. Over here, didn't see you there. Oh my god, I don't, don't need that. It's really pretty though. 
I'm not wearing eyeshadow right now. This is this. I don't think I'm gonna get this. Oh, okay. Yeah, no I, it doesn't look the best on me. Thank you. This is so pretty. So how's everything? Good, how are you? Good, yeah. how's your doggy? Good, good. She's actually a little under the weather right now, so I left her home. I think she has the flu. You know there is a dog I, flu I've going heard, around, I know. and they pick it up off of grass. If yeah. you ever seen her like sniffing in one yes. place for a yes. long time, yes, she always does that. I know. Make her move. Totally. If it's more than a few minutes. She's a real sniffer too. She loves to sniff something Most disgusting on the floor. You know what I mean? They love it. I know. Like she's the worst poo at it. Everything. She's it's her like, favorite. She's so it's, gross. So it's all dogs. <laughs> yeah. So. Like I, I made her go to my office with me yesterday, and I think she got worse from it. Honestly, I should just—I didn't know. I thought she was in a bad mood. So no, I there's a doggy. Yeah, something there is. I know. And then I never take her to the dog park, but my husband wanted to go to the dog park with her. So maybe that's I think she got she it from there. Her. Yeah, mm -hmm. and she hates going, but like you have to act like it, like I thought she'd want to socialize, but she didn't want to. Right. Yeah. And some can be like intimidating when they're really bad. Yes. Oh. I go to this one lady at Neiman. Um, she's like the nicest person ever. I love her, and she like gives me like samples. She's really nice. I always go to her when I buy makeup, which is like very rare. But when I do, I just like specifically go to her. But like everyone else in there is just like so fucking exhausting. Like, oh my god, I'm just not even gonna be rude. I can't do it. I just can't. Like, bitch, I'm sorry. If you don't look like fucking, I don't even know who. Who's like flawless? then do not give me your fucking makeup recommendations. Like, for the love of God, just like, oh my God. I'm exhausted right now. I mean, like, honestly, I'm exhausted from that fucking shopping. Oh, Jesus. I do have to show you guys, though, something that I got. I got this um, lipstick. I'm wearing it right now. It is so fucking nice. And I'm not even gonna be rude. Actually, ugh, I just don't want anyone to see this video. But like, of course, every single thing that they were like recommending me, I was like, absolutely not. Like, absolutely fucking not. And then like, she's like, oh, I'm sorry. Like, of course. But then of course, the one thing I found was like the best thing in the world. They should have pushed this on me, but they just don't know anything that, ugh, never. I'm not even gonna be a bitch, I don't give a shit. It's like, just, I'm exhausted from this. <sighs> what is the brand? Surratt. It is like the most 1970s skinny legend dead ass bitch on the beach ever and then of course they're telling me like oh you should get this like go on top and like make it glossy i'm like that is not the look like the look is not to have like huge colored glossy lips like the look is to just like swipe a color and like just look like that's how you look i don't have to make a big deal about it like 400 colors you know what i mean this is called scantily clad i fucking love it so much so bomb i'll try to put the link below because everyone needs this color look at that like, do we love it? Oh, I love it. I just, when you, I feel like when I go in these places, you, like, have to have, you have to be like, no, this is what I want. Like, you know what I mean? Or else they try to, like, sell so much shit to you. It's like, shut up. I'm so tired right now. I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> my, my coffee's still good. Oh my god, I'm like so happy right now. Okay, I should honestly, you guys, I'm not kidding. I need to go home. Can I just please tell you right now what just happened to me at the parking meter? Thank you. Um when I was just I was just leaving the parking lot and there was like a parking attendant and like getting out of this parking attendant from Neiman is like really, really fucking tight, right? Like really tight. So I was a little bit far away because I didn't want to like hit the curb and like the attendant, like the parking box thing. And I put my hand out to like give him the ticket. I am not, I am not exaggerating. A fucking piece of paper right now. Let me show you what he did to me. I should have gotten his name. Like honestly, I, I have so many, like he needs to be fired. Why? Like if you don't like your job, just fucking leave. Like don't take it out on me. So I gave him the parking ticket. I could not reach any more out of my, t and then he goes like this. He's like, Pretending like he can't get it, he just sat there, and then he just went, 
and like snatched it out of my hand like acted like it was the biggest deal like what do you want me to do get out of my car to give you the fucking ticket you can't just like lean over and get it that's what you do like you're a parking person like i i can't really like i'm sorry you're like your driveway is like this small like what did you want me to do i cannot like pull closer to you i'm going to hit your like your box seriously I, I just don't understand like nowadays these fucking people are so fucking rude I would never be rude like that to a customer why are these people not have do they not have like managers like going and checking their fucking attitudes I can't do this anymore honestly like I just need to go home this is why I don't go anywhere even though they're getting like pushed to buy shit I don't fucking want giving like the worst advice ever like yeah bitch I'm gonna go around with huge fucking glossy lips like this big with like with like color underneath my like a colored lip with gloss on top of it like does it look like I like wear that and, like when I'm not interested stop pushing it on me like does it look like I do huge like eyeshadow colors like no it doesn't like then you're gonna like then the other guys like snatch it out of my hand like bitch oh my god like I can't even go anywhere that's like don't go anywhere like no wonder these fucking uh, like what's it called no wonder these these like these like Neiman Marcus and Saks are empty. They're like empty. There's nothing to buy in there. There is nothing to like good to buy. It's all shit. They're out of everything. Like they don't even have stock good shit. It's horrible. And I swear to God, it's because no one wants to go in and deal with these people. They've become so fucking atrocious. Okay, there's like has to be a medium. Then I was in like Saks and one of the sales guys was legitimately sitting down in the chair. Like he wasn't even trying to like sell shoes. Like thank God, like I don't want anyone selling me. I can't stand like sales people selling people. But you're sitting down in the fucking in like the salon really like i cannot believe it. you should be fired you cannot sit down in the salon i mean like i worked at the I, I mean i just don't understand like this you can't do that like i just can't believe like really like it was so uncomfortable like i was like trying to like, look at shoes and he's like sitting there like, on like it, like on his like phone or something like, he was on, i don't know what what he was doing he's on his phone i legitimately think he's on his phone he wasn't like a young guy either it was like an older like a like a middle-aged person like i don't understand like that's how you act like you should be fired can I tell you, oh my God, what I'm wearing in my eyes, like, ugh, bleh. what the fuck? Thank God, I love my lipstick, of course. Of course, like, the lipstick I figured out was, like, so fucking bomb, like, I will have no taste, I swear to God. It's, like, the most bomb lipstick ever, I, like, love it. Fucking love my lipstick. Best decision ever. And, like, I'm so good nowadays, I, like, not, not, like, I will not buy it. Like, if someone's like, oh my god. You know how, like, those, they like, push it on you, right? And, like, sometimes people feel, like, obligated to, like, purchase it. I'm like, no, I don't like it. No, thank you. Like, no. No, thanks. Like, no, thank you. You know what I mean? Like, I don't feel bad anymore. Like, don't try to sell me something. Like, you're obviously, like, just like, trying to make a commission so obvious. Like, just leave me alone. Like, I know what I want. But, like, it, it's just, ugh. You guys, it's painful. It's It's painful. Couldn't even get sunglasses. There's no sunglasses to purchase. Like, there's not even, like, a style I would even, like, remotely look at. Like, I'm telling you, shield sunglasses are in. How come Saks and Neiman don't carry one pair of fucking shield sunglasses? What is wrong? Honestly, bye. Like, I can't do this anymore. I've had enough. You guys are, like, like literally, I'm not, like, seriously. Today is not, like, we're done. We are done. Like, this vlog has to end. This vlog has to fucking end.